Good day. This is John Cook from the Claims Department. If you call and don't get me, just leave a message and I'll call you right back. Bye-bye. Yeah, this is Penny Bailey. Um, please give me a call. At um, I'd like to talk to you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm stalling this guy, and I'm going to try and get a bank account. Um, but she calls back. Let's put it on pause. He's going to call back. Hey, Miss Bailey. It's Mr. Cooper. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. I've been waiting on your call all day. You just reached home? Yeah, um, I told you I had to take care of medical issues today. Um, I stopped by okay. the post office. They were already closed. But I have a question for you. Um, who is Catherine Gillette sure. again? Remember the letter, no, the that, letter that you sent an, the first listen, time? Listen, that is just a not. All right, that is just a uh, other winner in the area that we have to deliver to. Because we were working so late, we just mixed up the, the, the letter that's supposed to go to her. But we corrected it and sent you the correct one. Yeah, I know, but I just was curious about that. And um, no, it's just a, it's, it's just it's just another winner. Not to worry. So what are we? Um, saying hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Now? I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not done. Um, who's James Carter? Because he sent me the email. No, I told you he's my assistant. Oh. Um, you know, I'm not feeling comfortable sending um, anything in the mail. Is there, I feel a lot better and a lot safer just doing a wire transfer to you guys. Could I just do that instead? Oh, repeat that for me? I said I'm not feeling comfortable sending... A money order through the mail. Is there any way that I could just wire transfer you, you guys no, the listen. money your company? I mean, you guys are a big company. All right. the thing, yes, we are a big company. Um, but the thing is, money orders are, are pretty safe. Yeah, but they're. But I mean, if, if I send this money, I, I'm just starting to feel a little worried. I know you said you wanted me to feel safe. I would feel safe if I could just wire transfer the money to okay. you guys. Okay, let me... But I was have some kind of right, protection. Ask... Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, you finish. Finish what you're saying. I feel like I'd have more protection if I had a wire transfer than if I just sent a money order through the mail. Okay, what kind of protection are you talking about? Do you think I'm going to take your money and run? I no, don't know. That's I'm, so I'm told sorry. You. I'm going hold to... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's why I told you. Once you have... You're going to have the name... Our address, you're going to have your receipt. So at any time, you can go back to the post office and they can track the package where it's gone to. But, right? I, hope, but I can't get a refund for a money order. If I do a wire transfer, I feel safer doing that. I'm sorry, I'm going through a lot of medical stuff right now, and I just want to be safe. That's all. No, I, I understand what you're saying, but what I'm saying is, we are extremely busy, and right now um, we are in, in, in backlog. I am expected to do your delivery tomorrow. Right. All right? Well, let's reschedule so that. Number, let, let's, number, let's reschedule that, and let's... Would we'll you do... listen? Would you listen? Would you listen? There are some numbers. We've been doing business at the post office over 25 years. All right. Um, let me do something which is easier for you. We are. Have you ever bought, bought a vanilla gift card before? A gift card? No, that doesn't yeah. seem safe either to me. That I'm sorry. That doesn't seem safe to me at all. Why? What doesn't seem safe? You would have the card in your possession. Right, but uh, but you would like to have the numbers in that card, which means that I, I don't have any protection. I'm just trying to protect myself, sir. I'm going through a lot of medical stuff right now, and I'm very sick. I'm just trying to protect okay, Ms. myself. Okay, Miss ba Bailey, have you ever tried to claim your prize before? Have I ever tried to do what, sir? I'm sorry. Have you ever tried to claim your prize before from anyone else? No. Because you seem to know an awful lot about the companies. No, I'm just saying I, I've been I've been going through. I'm sorry, I'm going through chemotherapy, and that's what I was doing all day. And I was at the facility, and I just I wanted I was thinking about this and the fact that you sent me, you know, the wrong person. It just it's it's making me, you know. I did not listen. You did I send did me the wrong person, Catherine. This Catherine. Really? Mm -hmm. Listen to me carefully. 
you had me working overtime last night. I told you I was tired. Mistake happens. Listen, I'll tell you what. I'm not going to force you. I have over 10 deliveries to, 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 take, to, 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 to make. All right? So I am simply telling you, I have been doing this for over 25 years, okay? You don't work for the company. I am trying to assist you. I'm not going to force you. So either you do it my way or you just give us a charity group and we just donate it and leave it at them, all right? Well, that doesn't seem very nice. I told you I'm going through chemotherapy, and I was starting to get worried because you sent me the wrong information, and an alarm whistles start going it off in my brain. It is a simple mistake. It is the next winner in your state. I have been working all day. You had me on the phone very late after working hours. It's a simple mistake. All right? We correct it immediately and send you the right documents. Okay? Well, like I said, I wouldn't feel comfortable unless I did that. Well, I understand, but I understand what you're saying. But I'm telling you how we're going to do it. If you can't do it that way, I understand. But I cannot be jumping through all different type of hoops. I have over 10 deliveries to take care of. I am overbooked with deliveries. Well, right? I would like to win this prize, you but you're not listening to me, sir. I'm at, my most, I'm at my most vulnerable right now. I'm very sick, and I was just wanting to, you know, do something that would I felt like wait would give me more protection. You feel, wait, wait until you feel better. You try to cleanse it. I am not going to stay on the phone and argue with you. All right? You don't seem very professional to, to me, sir. You. I'm not trying to be mean and nasty. I've been going through a lot, and... I just wanted to do something to protect myself, and now it's making me feel even more um, concerned because you don't want me to do something that I can that's going to protect me. This doesn't seem right to me. <sighs> we cannot do a wire transfer at this time. Well, I guess we're at an impasse then because I don't... All right, have a nice day. Sorry to bother you. Hmm. What an ass. What a complete ass. Uh, I don't think he's going to call back. And you know what? If he does, I'm not going to answer. I'm just going to upload this video and be done with him. I tried to get the account. I'm not going to give him a vanilla gift card. Oh, well.